everybody. Today in maths, what we're going to do is practice our number bonds to 10. And we are doing that because number, knowing our number bonds and knowing them quickly really helps with our addition and our subtraction. So we're going to practice those and we're going to do it in a systematic way. Now, systematic means to follow a fixed plan. So to do something in an order as such. So to follow a fixed plan. So you'll know what I mean as we get going. So here on my coat hanger, I've got 10 pegs. And I know I've got 10 pegs because I've got five gray ones and five pink ones. Can you see? So I've got five gray and five pink. Put them all back together. So I know I've got 10 pegs there. So we're going to practice our number bonds to 10. So how can I find a number bond to 10? Looking at what I've got here, talk to whoever you're with, how can I find my first number bond to 10 using my pegs? What can I do? What, what could I do with the pegs that I've got on my coat hanger? I could move one along, couldn't I? So I'm gonna move this one along. So I'm gonna move this pink one along here. So now I know I've got one peg here. And how many pegs here? Should we count them? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we now know that I've got nine pegs here and one peg there. So what calculation is that? What do we, what, so what number bond? So nine add one equals 10, well done. So nine add one equals 10. So what shall I do now? What shall I do next? I'll move another one. So we know that nine add one equals 10. So the next thing I'll do is move another one. So what will be my next calculation? Eight, well done, we've got eight here, haven't we? Because we've just taken one away, so we've got eight now. And how many pegs over here? Two, well done. So eight add two equals 10, brilliant, fantastic. So we already know that nine add one equals 10. And we know that eight add two equals 10. So should we move another one? So what do you think my next number will be? You can count them if you're not sure. So remember this is five here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And how many? Three, well done. So seven and three equals 10. So we know that nine and one equals 10. Eight and two equals 10. Move another one seven and three equals 10. So <clears throat> this is systematic because we're moving one at a time to work it out. So we know that seven and three equals 10. <clears throat> Sorry, <laughs> let's move another one. So what have we got now? Brilliant, we've got six and four. Six and four equals 10. Brilliant, so another number bond. Six and four equals 10, super. So let's move this one. So how many have we got now? Five and five. Five add five equals 10, super. So let's move the next one. So how many have we got now? Brilliant, so four add six equals 10, well done. Let's move the next one. One, two, three, add how many? Count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So three add seven equals 10, brilliant. Two add eight equals 10. One add nine equals 10. Let's move this one. So now we've got nothing. Add 10 equals 10. Well done. <clears throat> so what we've done is we've just moved one along 
to work out the number bond, haven't we? So we've done one, add nine, two, add eight. So that's how we've worked out our number bonds to 10. We've been systematic. So when you're working out your number bonds, you can be systematic, can't you? By doing something similar, similar to that. Okay. Brilliant. But you can do it in your head because you're all brilliant. Or you can use your fingers. Okay. Well done. I'll see you soon. Bye.